right here. They're jumping. There is another one here, and then one up in front of us too, at least. Whoa! Crazy. Looks like a big ocean going tugboat towing a monster monster barge. Wild. So our original plan for today was to go from here, Little Inagua, across to the Turks and Caicos. And as you can see, we diverged from that plan a little bit because the wind was just cranking out of the east. We were close hauled and barely even gonna make that angle. Fully reefed in the Genoa and a reef in the main and it was just, ah, just too much sail area in that Genoa for 20 knot winds, close hauled. So we decided to bear off, we'll go to my iguana and then the wind is supposed to shift east northeast, so that direction and that should give us a nice beam reach down to the Turks and Caicos. So we're not getting south, we're going opposite where we need to go in that regards, but we're going north to get a little bit more east and I think it'll work out all right. We're only a couple miles from the, what the heck? We're only a couple miles from the reef entrance here on the south side of my iguana, and we got one. Barracuda. Probably barracuda. A small one. I don't get how we catch barracuda in like 3,000 feet of water. I guess it's just because we're so close to shore. About to go through the reef here. I'm Iguana, Sierra's getting ready to drop the main sail. Right after we get inside, turn towards the wind and drop the sail. Some breakers all around us. It looks like a nice clear entrance. Okay, scratch what we said yesterday. This is going to be our last Bahamian island, not Little Nagua. Um, my iguana, it's almost time to take down our flag. We just anchored up, took a quick dip in the water, and we're in Abraham's, Abraham Bay? Abraham Bay right now on like the south side of my iguana. It's super cool. It's, it reminds me of that Anchorage and Cat Island on the south side with like- but a little bit more protected. Yeah, the, the reef is much shallower out there and it's just blocking all the swell from coming in. I don't really don't think much is around here, but we did find a guy- Reggie's. It, Reggie's, is it like an actual restaurant? I don't know. It's probably the, more the like- The chart said that it was a restaurant. The guy's house, but we're gonna go there for dinner and check it out, so probably be pretty good. And uh, we're gonna go take Jetty and explore a little bit before that see what's going on around here. going to dinner. It's just this one long road down from the pier, the cement pier in the lagoon all the way to town where that tower is over there. And apparently Reggie's place is just a little past the tower on the right. 
according to the Explorer chart. There's probably only one Reggie around here, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. <laughs> There's two more coming. Look at that little guy. Are you Reggie? In full color. All right. <laughs> Perfect. I'm Sierra. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, I'm Billy. Billy, nice to meet you. Billy. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having us. Yes, yes that's my wife. Yeah. In Thanks. Nassau. Okay. Yes. Oh, very cool. Beautiful. We just got our food, and Sierra has been craving peas and rice, and she finally got it. How is it? Good, everything looks so good. We got some peas and rice, vegetables, chicken, steamed cock, mac and, mac and cheese. I don't know what this is. How was it? That was so yummy. And that's like one of the coolest things about going to eat somewhere. We got to talk to him and learn where he was from and where he goes. And Reggie was a good guy. If you're in my iguana, stop and see Reggie. That food was so good. And it was completely like homemade. Home style. We just met the island renowned Scully. No, internationally. internationally. Well, we're almost out of daylight. We gotta get back to the boat. And the bugs are starting to come out. You feel them? That's the end of the tour.